Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring Does mixing your creativity with beautiful glass sounds inspiring? How about creating amazingly beautiful objects for people to use and admire? Well, if that's you, then a career in glass blowing is definitely for you. Glass blowing is a traditional, cherished art form that has been gaining popularity over the past few years. Hey, Antiro Wasiku, you are glass blowing. Can I go to get a kawena? Obana ngaku ba Jones botala ba uti Antiro lo. I lang tennis. Igu ti ba kawena glass blowing Ian. Agazu vuthe luma ya pagat agaz. A glass blower, even now, what are we going to do? We're glass. I'm on one channel, and I'm finding like I'm too low. Finding like I'm just a bunch of nabantu being a snake. I'm not even going to own a house to have a wife. I'm about to spend thousands of dollars on a glass. I'm going to spend thousands of dollars on a glass. I'm going to spend thousands of dollars on a glass. I'm going to spend thousands of dollars on a glass. I'm going to spend thousands of dollars on a glass. I'm going to spend thousands of dollars on a glass. I'm going to spend Imagine a place where 5,000 rand. Not even 9,000 million. 20 to 30,000 pay. About now, column go 15,000. So, as you can see, we are going to be doing some fun and activity. In science, yeah, in math, it's in Kisi English first, whether it's first additional language or home language, engineering and graphic design. Yeah. It's a tough one, my subject. My regular one. No, it was the seventh year is under Zako. No, I don't think I mean it. The seventh year was the seventh year. With John Zelanti Rolo Kona, Munanga John Zelakui. Any technical and colleges, at a college or university that offers such a course. Last blow, I got to get to find me a school in Swamabo, Koko, Interwaban, Mamabo, Kalabi, Mufungo, Mutokoya, and Mamabo. I have lovely Maka Toriwa. I have lovely Maka Toriwa. Munanga Toriwa. I think a class blower works on the environment and inside the labs. The class blow at the feminine, to end at the classy, not going to work upon at the classy. When I'm a stagger, I'm a class blower. Yes, I would love to be a class blower because the work is not so physically demanding, and yeah, I would love to. I'm not going to do a class blower. I'm not going to be a class blower. I'm not going to be a class blower. I'm not going to be a class blower. Anugerah saya kelangu fikuba, engkau rena susu sulu ke nang tu sasulu sota la, kalau mereka kore suka suen dulu leh kelas susu, entar lulung kata kau kan tu pekis suku mula aku nak aku. Pada lama bawa, nama aku kana kana aku nene. Aye, ini kan Carlo, eka carrier board ya ina. Glass blowers create artistic and functional objects from glass. This is achieved by blowing air into large tubes with melted glass to create artistic shapes like bowls, glasses and vases. To be granted admission for studies in this field, you must have good grades in art, drawing and painting. Interested in becoming a glass blower? Well, let us go through the checklist. Glass blowers are creative and driven to create art. They should be willing to put in long hard hours. They need steady hands and should be patient, careful, and not afraid of taking new risks and trying out new and unknown things. Possible employers in this field are manufacturers of glass utensils, glass blowing industries, manufacturing and packaging industries. And with well enough experience and capital, one can be self-employed. But Jones of Asiku, if I look cool in Shalane, Shabuka Muso, Light and Bisa, I sang an end of one. Lalina Lagakin Natavo Mosala, Kinale eighteen years, Kikanabuka Musa Secondary School, Kate a grade twelve, and a Gidula, Tembisa, Winnie Mandela's on five. 
Ah, I'm not going to be creative. I'm going to be able to get my job, get my job, get my job, get my job. I'm going to be able to last blow. I was able to get comfort in my life. I was able to get to school in secondary school. And I'm 18 years old. I was able to get to school. I observe more in life and I'm more curious. I'm kind and caring. Strong points which I include being creative thinking and having good mathematical skills. My dream career is to become a glass blower. I'm How are you? Oh, I'm very fine. Let me make it thing. For eight hours, if you feel it, how do you feel? Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm um, your email to say for it. Because great have to so decide to let it go. I'm going to get to the class. We thought, no, 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 we're definitely meeting these two. Okay, I'll enjoy it. I'm going to get to the class. Well, I'm going to get to the class. I'm going to get to the internet. Like, I want to get to the advertisement in the class. So I got interested. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Yeah, khalas. It's not like a khalas affair. Uh -huh. You have to be creative. Uh -huh. You're like a creative. So you know when I like go, but blow a coin. I was like, yeah, I can do it. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> okay. At first, I thought class by by sheep. I got to do a chance here. Yeah. So I researched, I got researched, I got researched. When I saw the blowing thing, it really just blew my mind. Panka libo tsa here. Where do you see yourselves in say ten years time from here? In ten years time, like you know, when I like kill artist, the other thing like. It's famous. Mm -hmm. You can create the the creative and yeah. Wow. I actually want to change lives. Uh -huh. I want to make everything out of class. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Um, I can know now. I get. I don't know for the eight hours and a little surprise for Luna. I get. Um, you're spending two days like a glass blower. Exciting, okay, yeah. eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so two days here, Rao Fela. The total line is almost everything that you want to know comes with the owner and more info, you know, especially the Lozeli so Lisoli collecting in terms of research. I get it. It's only for the t shirts to go by Lodi, Lodi Apara, and the Copan and Nakopil. Ne? Yeah, office block at Luna. Jonzi Basiko va enzela at the Crucible Factory. Lago endlo akasulo sosa seka hi glass. Ntena, loko yivya ema vengelini. Good day everybody. My name is Greg Miller. I am a glass blower here at the Crucible. And today we're going to be welcoming Comfort and Debocha, who are going to job shadow me through the wonderful art of glass blowing. Morning, guys. Welcome to the Crucible. My name is Greg. Let's hope you enjoy your time here at the Crucible learning the art of glass blowing. But I have to ask, what made you interested in glass blowing? Well, what made me interested in glass blowing is that uh, it gives you an opportunity to be creative and come up with new things. and. Yeah, you work with hands and that's what I love. I'm interested in glass blowing because it gives you the opportunity to reveal your creativity. Uh, as you can see around, you see the creativity. Yeah, that's why I'm interested. Well, I think you guys have hit it on the head because one of the major aspects of glass blowing is releasing your creativity. I love creativity. I love working with my hands, and there's that little, little part of adrenaline with working with something that is at 850 degrees. I love it. And you create beautiful pieces. I'm going to the guy who a glass blower. There's one place in South Africa that you can take glass blowing as one of your subjects in a fine arts degree, that is Twani University. You could also join us at the Crucible. We give an informal glass blowing lesson. So we wouldn't be able to give you a diploma or anything afterward, but we give you a very practical experience in learning the art of glass blowing. But will you be able to, to work uh, as a glass blower after learning at the Crucibles? Yes, you can. There definitely are opportunities, specifically if you want to become an artist. And of course, you create your own artworks with the art of glass blowing. 
and as any other artist would make a living out of your beautiful works that you make. Predominantly, I think you need to believe in yourself. As with anything, you need to believe that you have the ability. Be creative, have a creative spirit, look around you, look at what exists in the world, recreate your world, but recreate it out of glass. Believe in yourself and promote yourself as an artist. No, you don't really need a very powerful breath or strong lungs because glass blowing is done more from the cheeks. You do it like a trumpet blower. You go, you fill your cheeks and you blow out. It's only if you blow in a very large vessel that you used to use or you need to use your lungs. But basically, no, you don't have to have a very strong breath or very strong lungs. Well, there are different aspects to glass blowing. You could become a scientific glass blower, which is not the type of glass blowing we're going to be doing here. It's working at a bench in front of a small flame. There's a few more opportunities involved of that in the, in the industrial and engineering field, chemical fields. But our type of glass blowing, which is an art, it depends on you and depends on how creative you are, how well you bring your creativity out and how you market yourself in the art world. If you market yourself very well and become known as a very successful artist, then you could become very, very wealthy. But you need to market yourself and believe in yourself. Same as anything else, the more work you put into it, the greater the rewards are. With the actual process of glass blowing, as you'll find out tomorrow when we do it, the maximum you can do will probably be around about five to six hours a day because the heat and the physical exercise, the physical energy required to blow glass takes it out of you. But after blowing the pieces, there's a lot more involved. There's the cold working, there's the cutting, there's the grinding, and a lot more involved. So as many hours as you're prepared to put in will be the reward that you'll get out of it. Absolutely, but you've got to wait for tomorrow. So tonight you guys go home, get a good night's rest because you're going to be working hard tomorrow. Okay? okay. Great. We'll see yeah. you tomorrow. Rabombiri, but John's a batalella at the crucible, came up when but John's a sotala, he glass blowing. I went and goes for Manjan. Sunzusho, what a lady. Now I know what Sakilakova Naina, it's a lily, a Facebook page, yeah, in a SABC forty eight hours. Hello, guys, how are you today? I'm fine, how are you? Welcome back. Huh? Yeah. Today's going to be an exciting day. After all the learning yesterday, today's going to be the day that you do everything. I'd like you please to pay very, very careful attention because there are certain procedures that you must follow and it's all to prevent what is an exciting and fabulous art of glass blowing becoming a dangerous art, ensuring that you don't get burnt. Please take careful notice of what everyone's going to do. Are you ready for this? Yes. Let's go and get yes. hot. We're going to light the glory hole. Ivan, please welcome Comfort and Deboko. They're here today to do the practical side of what we started yesterday with glass blowing. Okay. Every step that he runs through is devised to prevent you guys from burning yourselves. Okay. Take careful, careful, careful note of what's going to happen. All right. Now we're going to light the glory hole. So why do we use the chloro hole instead of using a normal heating? The glory hole is gas fired with a mix of oxygen blown into the gas that increases the temperature. Oxygen heats the flame even more, it brings the glory hole temperature up to 1700 degrees. That heats the glass that you're working on very quickly to a working temperature of between 800 and 850 degrees. If you use some other device, it's not going to heat it as fast. So you'll be spending a lot more time trying to heat the glass, bringing it back to a working temperature. Can I please try to light? Uh, well, if you've been here for a couple of days, then yes, but since as today's your first day, this could also be a little bit dangerous. So we'll light it for you now. Okay. okay. Cool. Watch this. Okay. 
guys, uh, we just switched on the glow. I've, I've put a pipe in to get hot. So we're gonna be using protective glasses like this because it gets very bright in the glory hole and we don't want to damage our eyes. Here we go, your tools of the trade. This is your uh, blowing pipe. Each of you can take one. Now the first thing we do with glass plate, your right hand goes over the top like this. We stand this side so we all can go work together. Then your left hand goes this way and we pick it up like this. There we go. Now we keep on rotating the pipe. As I talk, just keep rotating so your arms can get used to the turning motion. As soon as you've got glass on the tip of the pipe, you never stop rotating. Because at the moment, when you stop rotating, the glass will fall off the pipe. We can now rotate it one hand. You would uh, preferably rotate with both hands because you don't want a jerking motion on the pipe because that'll throw the glass around. So you want a constant turn with both hands. All right. Looking good, guys, looking good. The more up your hand is on the pipe, the hot set obviously is going to become. But it's a lot more comfortable obviously working here in front. But you usually try not go further than the middle of the pipe. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get glass out of the furnace here. The furnace is kept at 1,200 degrees and it's full of molten glass. All right, so I'm going to start the process now. I rotate my pipe inside into the glass. Then I pick up a little bit of glass out of the furnace. As you can see, that's now molten glass on the tip of the pipe. First thing I do then after that, just push a little bit of that glass to the front and I get my color. There's a little bit of blue and I'll get a little bit of red on the other side. Okay, first thing I'm gonna melt in the color. I put that into the Gloriel, which was heating up just before. And now that color is gonna seep into the clear glass. The color itself is actually um, also glass. Um, it's just uh, different chemicals to make the color. For instance, they use gold to make red glass and cobalt to make blue glass. Do you see while everyone's talking to you, he hasn't stopped turning that pipe. Always rotate. You have to rotate it all the time, especially when it's in the glory hole, because that's heating your glass up so it makes it soft enough to work with. So the melting point of a glass is 1,200, right? And the temperature in the chloro hole is 1,700. Why do we use 1,700? That's just to aid in heating the glass up very quickly. If we had to leave the glass in there for a long time, it would become so soft that you wouldn't be able to work with it. It would just run off the pipe. But it, the temperature is much higher than the melting point so that it heats the glass up to the working temperature a lot faster. At 800 degrees, it's malleable. It makes it soft enough to work. As you can see there, the colors are melted into the clear glass and I'm gonna move into my bench. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put in a, what we call a thumb blow to put air inside. I seal it off. Now that trapped air and the heat combined the would slowly start. blow up the bubble. So is this called glass blowing because we thumb blow it through the pipe? Exactly, you've got it. Hit the nail on the head. The process of blowing through the pipe, hence the name glass blowing. That's awesome. Can we get a chance to try it? Absolutely, that's why you're here. You're going to be doing glass blowing. So what are the qualities needed in order to be a good glass blower? I think firstly, a good imagination and you have to be creative. As importantly, you need very, very good eye-hand coordination. Because you're working with both your hands, one has to keep the pipe moving, otherwise the glass is going to fall off, and the other is shaping the glass while moving it. Why is he putting water on a newspaper in order to shape the, the, the glass? If we didn't put water on the newspaper, the heat of the glass would burn through that within a few seconds. The water keeps the newspaper cold and that protects your hand. Oh. Do I need to have some qualifications in order to do this? To be the qualification that you would need, I think, is mainly practice. But you can do an apprenticeship with glass blowers. Throughout Europe, a lot of people join the master glass blowers there and do a 10-year apprenticeship to learn the process of glass blowing. Oh, wow, 10 years. Why so long? Well, you saw just now we're trying to handle the glass and the hardest part, getting the thumb blow in. 
It takes a lot of practice. And the Venetian glass blowers actually start when they're five, six years old. They start in primary schools and they only become a master when they've done 20 years of glass blowing. You can feel this heat from here. The piece that you guys have just made, Ivan put into here and it has to stay in here for 24 hours. Otherwise it's gonna crack. Ivan, bring that sample, which is similar, almost identical, to what these guys have just made. So is it gonna be exactly like this with a pointy mark? Well, it's going to have a pointy mark, but it won't be exactly the same because you made it. Somebody else made that one, but it's very similar because the same process was used. Oh, that's beautiful. That is Lovely. Glass is beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brilliant. Hey. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you for joining us. It was a pleasure showing you what glass blowing is all about, and I hope one day to see you back here again. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Hello. How about some energy? Eka, na kwa hizo thing. Okay, today I just learned that the melting point of a class is a physical science student. Mm -hmm. uh, and the thumb blowing part, oh, it was very interesting. Uh huh, what's that? Uh, you, you just blow your air inside the pipe and then you block it with a thumb, then the pressure inside will make the glass at the end of the pipe too uh -huh. grow bigger and bigger. Oh, really? Yeah, so oh, you determine okay. the size by there. Oh, wow. OK, so everything went well, sharp, happy, and yeah. you're ready to do this. Yeah. I'll not change your mind. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Live like it. And leave Hoko Mel. OK. But I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to Hi, my name is Ronnie Elski. I'm the owner of Fusion Beads. We use a method called lamp working to produce glass beads. Some of the items that we currently make is uh, cake lifts, salad servers, ice cream scoops, wine stoppers, serving spoons, and the like. I started off as a hobby making beads and then to supplement my income I turned it into a small business. What I like about being my own boss is the flexibility it brings that I can create and do things that I feel are right for my own business. It gives me far greater uh, ability to create what I have in my mind. The challenges I experienced when first starting the business was finding the capital and the marketing aspect of the business. At the moment, the internet we find uh, is the best method of marketing, and as well as uh, word of mouth. My advice to aspiring entrepreneurs who want to start their own business is to start off with low costs and as far as possible, plow back all profits made into the business. But Larry, none of us have made a penny off. We know no cost to run a month. Ninga Rivali. It's a little in a 48 hours at sabc.co.za. Metala me rumela subutiso. Now someone now someone solo listen to kela kaku stiva. Eka Facebook page ya ina. Kuma kamina tinsolo na baterukuloni. Thai sekani.